Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We've seen some thrillers in the MAC championship game over the years. 2012 season, two teams were playing for what turned out to be a spot in a BCS game. The Mid-American Conference Championship game is coming up. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the head. The MAC Conference Championship takes place today. Should be a great one. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke tastes, zero calories. Enjoy everything. As the ball teed up, and we're just about ready to get this one started. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Oh, man, he took him down hard. can do as they come out onto the field. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 35. Mike Nye, Mike Nye. Hang out. Let's go. Hang out. Nice run, and he's brought down. Intelligent, decisive play to pitch it out to the tailback on the option. He had more room to run and picked up some quality yards. First and goal inside the five. Let's see if they try to pound it in here. Both teams have their goal line sets on the field. Safe to say the defense 
had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he stops before he even gets going. From the 10-yard line, second down, five wide. Feeds it to the back. Locked down around the one-yard line. From their own 29-yard line, it's first down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Tackle made for the 38-yard line. That's a deal of nine on the way. That brings up second and one. The Golden Flash defensive back left the game with that injury earlier, and the sooner he gets back, the better, because they've been really working over his backup. Fires that quickly, incomplete. This quarterback needs to be careful not to use his arm strength to try to force things, because that's when mistakes happen. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. They come out on an empty backfield. resulted in six.
make quicker decisions, and especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. From their own 35-yard line. Third down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. lane and coming away with the ball from the 44 yard line first down Six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. On third and long, they get the first down, but was it close? Close or not, what a relief it is to the quarterback to have a new set of downs to work with. on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. He's got a lot of time to forget about that last pick. He's just got to stick to the game plan. Here's a run off the gun, but nothing going there. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down.
And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second That's quarter. The Schmidt to punt. There's a punt. It's a line drive. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guy feel more confident going into halftime. Tackle at the six. So they wrecked him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. From their own six-yard line, second down. Good tackle there in space. Yard line, second down. Brown, it's a ball left side, and he's taken down around the four yard line. the snap. Tries to get around the corner. James hands it at the 19. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays.
designed to pick up a first down, but they didn't do it. It looks like the receiver just lost track of where he was on the field. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. It's away. Short punt. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. and was able to find the seam. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. It's that quick one. Nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. 22-yard line. First down. He's scrambling. Quick shot. The defender tips it away. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. Well executed. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. 
He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Northern Illinois has gotten the play out of their quarterback, and he expected that, that was going to happen. But, I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront, or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this to the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. And you're right. Something has got to happen for the, his teammates, the rest of this group. They've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. He's out to the 30, diving for extra yardage. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 36. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he hits him hard at the 41-yard line. A pickup of five. Not a bad play. They gain five yards out of it, and they keep moving the defense back. Kent State will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a fire line out there. Slings it. And they push him out. The 43 yard line. Team's got to give their kicker some time. He's taken down the 25 yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Kent State is up by a touchdown. going to try and scramble. Zips it to the back. Steps out of bounds. Right around the four. From their own 40-yard line. It's first down. Five wide. That's a great tackle at the 31-yard line. He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. From their own 31-yard line. First down. Holds it in and stops in his tracks with that tackle. The Huskies call a timeout. That's their second of the half. They'll spread the field with five wide. Gets it. He's in space. The 10. Touchdown, Northern Illinois. Great effort by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play. Boy, that had to be a miscue of some kind or a mental error by the defense. This wide receiver was just too open for there not to be some kind of mistake by the defense. I'm sure the defensive coordinator is going to want to get his defense on the sideline and to make sure everybody's on the same page. Northern Illinois ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He's to the 20. Knocked out of bounds at the 32. Well, 
have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Now he's scrambling. Looks over the middle and it's picked off. He's at the 40. He's at the 30 and he tackles him hard at the 27 yard line. So that's their third interception this half. It's simple, Brad. The defense has been really, really good. And the offense has been really, really bad. From the 27-yard line, first down. Off balance throw, got him anyway. He's tackled right around the 22-yard line. Pretty nice pick up here. These guys are getting very tight on their timing. The Huskies using their third and last timeout. Kick is up, and it splits the uprights. We played a half of football. The Huskies lead 17-14. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show. Presented Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin. we got a tight game here. Fielded at the four. At the 30. Across midfield. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 37 yard line. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. From the 34-yard line, it's second down. it out 
to about the 11 yard line. two-yard line. Second down. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. He's under pressure. Decides to tuck it in and he's got space. And he's taken down around the 30-yard line. the 30-yard line. First down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. shots from the safety for the runner who's still in the backfield this guy just flies all over the field third down and they need to get it down to the 20 
stop around the 10-yard line. So we're looking at another third down here. this very pivotal fourth quarter. to the 20. Brought down to the 
26 yard line. It's been a good one so far today. Let's see what happens here. Well, at this point in the game, this offense has no choice. They've got to try to get down the field as quickly as possible and come up with a touchdown. Probably an onside kick or a quick defensive stop. Get the ball back and get another touchdown. So they need to execute and execute as well as they can. Throws to the tight end and that ball's incomplete. That pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand. Sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball and it comes out a little wobbly. From their own 26 yard line, it's second down. Pick up as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Makes it to the 44. Gaining eight on the play. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Looking for the corner. Gets to about the 44-yard line. play of the series. Out to around the 48. 
It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Second down. Now he tries to buy some time. He heaves it deep. Almost intercepted. play of this drive. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide out there. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. The Huskies are going to call their second time out. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. This defensive lineman's got the kind of size and strength where he can disrupt the play all by himself. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Kicks away. And he nails a long field goal.
He's to the 20. Makes it to the 22-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Just over two minutes in the game. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. two-yard line. Second down. A little over a minute in the game. Quick throw out to the receiver. And they make the stop. The 32-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Here's a quick throw. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. It's first and ten. Ball on the 15. End zone. We got a tie ball game. Northern Illinois is back in the football game. Tied up now thanks to their star quarterback. One thing about this quarterback, he just led them to a huge drive here late in the game. And you know, he just wants his hands on the football one more time before we head to overtime. And he adds the extra point. Northern Illinois kick this one off. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Tries to get around the corner. He's taken down the 30-yard line. This is not the type of game you'd expect to see from an experienced quarterback. But in a big game like this, sometimes you try so hard to do your best that it actually comes back and backfires on you. And right now with this quarterback, I think the mistakes are affecting not just him, but the entire offense. Scrambling around. He guns it. It's intercepted, and that should do it. And he's tackled at the 44-yard line. First and 10, ball in the 44. Under a minute left. Taken down at about the 35. Golden flashes, call a timeout. That's their second of the half. He's taken down at the 36 yard line. The Golden Flash using their third and last timeout. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down mark. it out to maybe the 33-yard line. That makes it 
first and ten. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, 31-30, Northern Illinois. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? Northern Illinois started this season with one thing on their mind, playing here for this trophy. And now that they're the MAC champions, nothing feels better than reaching a goal you strive for all season long. Congratulations. For the Huskies, they win another one late in the season, giving them an 8-5 and five record. And for the Golden Flashes, they go to 7-6 and six on what has been an average season.